Hello teachers, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss 12th module portfolio activity. Select a chapter or unit from a science textbook of any class and design a unit plan with activities where children are actively involved in the learning process. Steps to follow to complete the activity. Select a chapter a unit from science textbook from any class. Describe the chapter in terms of key concept. Write learning objectives. What do you expect the children learn at the end of the lesson? Knowledge, skill, values and attitudes. List the learning resources needed for the class. Design unit plan matching with learning objectives. Plan the activities individual and group maintaining social distancing and arrange them in sequence integrate various concerns gender art inclusion etc plan and design assignment formats needed map the lesson with the learning outcomes that can be achieved use the template given to complete the task template to design a chapter or unit plan of science Topic Water Class Sixth Class Size Thirty Lesson Description In this lesson, in the eighth three four of water, seven eighty three million people do not have access to clean water on the globe. Function of, of human body depends on water. Use of water forms of water. Evaporation and formation of clouds, causes of water cycle, relationship between rains and clouds, droughts, methods of water conservation. It is the description of water lesson. Now, learning objectives. The student will able to recognize the source and availability of water. The student will able to understand the importance of water, explain the process of water cycle, draw the labeled diagram of water cycle, apply learning of scientific concepts in day-to-day -day life by suggesting way of cope with heavy rain and droughts etc. Understand the importance of wastage of water, rain, water Harvesting, resource or technology, newspaper, PPT presentations, YouTube videos, news channel, ideas given by self-experienced people, learning experiences designed. Divide the class into groups. Let them discuss the uses of water in their daily life. Can you estimate how much water you are Family uses in a day. Record your estimation in a table. Shows children, ice, water, vapor and explains forms of water. Spread a piece of wet cloth in the sunlight. Write your observations as record. Draw the hydrological cycle and exhibit in your class. Conduct a seminar on a drought. Control activities. Give some suggestions to prevent water wastage. Collect information from your grandparents and their experiences about the drought they experienced. These are the activities to water lesson experiences their own lives. Look here. Here is the water evaporation picture and also snails and then droughts water cycle. Okay, are you understand the pictures? Like this. You show some more pictures to understand the children, the concept of the lesson. Now intended learning outcomes. Intended learning outcomes. 
students understand need of water for domestic agriculture industrial purposes we depended on rains for water water on the earth can exist in three forms ice solid form water liquid form water vapor gases form clouds are formed from tiny droplets of water vapor rain snow sleet or hail any kind of weather condition where something is falling from the sky is called precipitation floods are natural disasters that affected human life these are the learning outcomes of the water lesson thank you friends stay tuning my channel sharing our thoughts thank you take care of yourself bye